I believe that after today, you will be the remnants that would have what it takes to develop yourself and constantly upgrade your spiritual wine skin that you would be so relevant in the hand of God in the use of the Holy Spirit just like Daniel was that no regime of government could dispense him. Because each advancement of God's word, you are the first to catch it. When the Holy Ghost moves, you are the first to comprehend it. Because when God wants to move, he doesn't move in the same way he moved previously. Of course, each move of the Holy Spirit will not conflict with the principles of Christ. Each move of the Holy Spirit would not conflict with the Word of God. If the manifestation is strange, does it heal? He came to heal. It doesn't matter if the man of God spits on the ground. It doesn't matter if he meets it if he mixes it with this, uh, sand. It doesn't matter if he sends him to wash at the pool. Did he come out see him? Yes, sir. Then praise the Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Strange move of the Holy Ghost. In these last days. I tell somebody, God is about to release new wine. Are you ready to receive it? Are you prepared to receive it? If you are, give the Lord a big shout of praise. Woo! Somebody said, all new wine skin is often found in the wilderness. As the Holy Spirit dispatches the new wine skin in the wilderness. So the first thing the Holy Ghost will do if you ask him of the new wine, he will come upon you and lead you to the wilderness. And then if you pass the test, the crushings, and the dealings of the Holy Spirit in your wilderness experience, then he will clothe you with power. Jesus received the new wine when he finalized the ministry of his personal, customized, accustomed wilderness experience. When Jesus went to the wilderness, he didn't go with John the Baptist. In as much as in that moment, most of the John the Baptist's disciples decided to follow Jesus. Many found Jesus appealing, but none could journey with him to the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. He journeyed alone, they waited there for him to go and return. Sir, if you are seeking for the new wine, you must journey alone with the Holy Spirit in order to receive that customized new wine skin. Nobody receives it with a group of people. If you are seeking for general acceptance, you will never receive it. If you start listening to people, you can get it. One of the secrets of Pastor John is that I walk alone. I walk with the Holy Spirit. I walk with Jesus. I love everybody, but I don't give myself to anyone. Wilderness is the only place 
where we receive our new wine skin. And if you cannot finish your wilderness experience, forget it. Israel was in the wilderness for 40 years instead of 40 days. And Jesus went into his wilderness and finished it within the frame of time as required by the Holy Spirit. Was it, can I ask you one question? Did Jesus go to the wilderness once in his lifetime? Yes or no? No. Jesus was a man of wilderness, mountains. Subsequently, once in a while, he would detach himself. He goes up to the mountains. He goes back to the wilderness to shed off the old wine skin. No one can be constantly be filled with the Holy Spirit without shedding off the old wine skin. The Spirit of God fills you afresh when you have shed off your old wine skin. Where do we get the capacity to shed off the old wine skin? In the secret place of prayer, in witness, in discipline of the Holy Spirit, in a constant confession of scriptures, obedience to the voice of the Holy Spirit, commitment to the things of God, separation. Listen, witness is a place of separation. Witness is the reign of isolation. Witness is a place where you are persecuted for your faith. Witness is a place where Satan will intoxicate your mind, oppress your mind, teleport you from one place to other mentally, where you're mentally drained. You're attacked in your mind. You don't know where stra- you. It's as though that's that's that 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 moment in the wilderness where should I give it all to him or should I reserve some? It's it's more or less it's a place where you are tasked. That's a demand on your shoulders to completely yield to God. You know what it takes to yield to God. You know it. You know it's going to cost you everything. It will cost you everything. So you know it. So wilderness is that place in the realms where the Holy Spirit begins to constrain you. The Holy Ghost begins to pull you. The Holy Ghost begins to compel you to yield completely to him. Some of you is taking you 20 years to do it. Some of you is taking you 10 years to do it. Some of you, you can't. You know why? Because that's where most people lose it. Like Israel did. They stayed for 40 years before they could give it all to God. Most people lose it in that process. It's a journey of 40 days. It should have taken you 40 days of tribulation. Because 40 day, 40 is the number of tribulation. Yeah, 40 is the number of what? Yeah, is the number of tribulation. That's 40. You can stretch in your Yieldedness, you, 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 you start yielding, you start yielding, so Holy Ghost, I give in, I give in right now, I give up on this, I give in, I give up on this one, I give in to this, I give, Holy Spirit, take it. They only see the manifestations and they accuse it as occultic, but they don't know the price that was paid to be able to manifest this intense power of God, because men don't pay the price. There are layers, hidden, intense, powerful revelations of God's glories stored up in the realms, waiting for men 
to shed off their old wine skin in order to qualify to host this intense oil. Glory, wines of the Holy Spirit. You think Jesus hosted the power of God by nothing? No, he was led of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of, of the devil. There he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Satan appeared and tempted him, took him to the pinnacle of the mountains, took him on top of the temple, showed him the mysteries of this world, asked that he worship him to give him all the treasures of the kingdoms of this world. So he was tempted, was tried. And Jesus defeated the seductions of the evil one. And when he departed the witness, the Bible says he departed with the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He hosted the new wine of his time. You think it's easy? And then when he returned, oh, the Pharisees who never fasted, <laughs> hypocrites, looking for a woman to accuse of adultery. Yet when Jesus said, if you are not guilty of the same adultery, be the first to cast stones. They all started to say, foolish. They dropped their stones. See that? All they knew is scriptures. But that scripture has no power in their lives. There's no revelation. There's no intimacy. There's no fellowship. There's no revelation. There's no commitment of scriptures. The scriptures were only in their lips, but not in their hearts. Because if the scriptures are in your heart, it will compel you. You can't help it. It will pull you into the wilderness. <laughs> if you are led of scriptures, you will always be isolated by the gift of subsequent ongoing wilderness. When God wants to increase you, he will teleport you into a new wilderness. <laughs> So, every new wine skin is what? Found in the wilderness where the Holy Ghost leads us into for further training and spiritual development. The wilderness of the Holy Spirit is led by the clouds and pillars of fire. When God launches a man into the wilderness, he puts him into a place where he's surrounded by cloud in the day. And of course, protected by the pillars of fire. Fire represents a domain of divine visitations. God appears in fire. God dwells in unapproachable light. So the pillars of fire that surround a man in the wilderness is a place, is a dimension of God in the wilderness that unlocks supernatural encounters. God appears through fire. So that pillar of fire that walked, that dwelt with Israel in the midnight hour was actually a portal, of, a spiritual portal through which God manifests his supernatural and covering in the midnight hour. Because it is in the night that men encounter God. You know why men encounter God in the night? That's when your body slumbers. That's when this illusion, this consciousness falls into weakness. And then your soul awakens into its realms to hear from the Lord or to interact with demons or spirits or what you call dreams. Every living thing you see in your dream is a spirit. They're not humans. It is your soul interacting with other spirit creatures in the soulish realm. So when God teleports you to the wilderness, what is he saying? He said, come and get acquainted with my presence. 
go come in and, and get cultivated come and cultivate my presence there you will get acquainted with diversities of my manifestations in the day you will behold me as a cloud in the night i will come to you as a pillar of fire and in that series of encounters listen every activity in the wilderness is supernatural supernatural in fact the wilderness is the school of the supernatural not intellectual studies of the supernatural not reading a book on the supernatural not reading somebody else's books or experiences of the supernatural no it is an experience in the realms that's what the wilderness experience is all about when jesus was in his wilderness he interacted with realms teleporting to the pinnacle of the mountains moving satan would take him he messed satan he, tra he, he trafficked realms yet in one place when israel was in their wilderness they saw a pillar of fire in the night came from nowhere in the wilderness heaven rained manas from from they wake up in the morning something will rain food and they will all gather it in the wilderness a rock had a leg wherever they go a rock followed them when they wanted water the rock produced water these were strange things happening things that have never happened so when god calls you into the realm of wilderness when god summons you into the wilderness it is to remove you from this natural illusion limitations and impossibilities and begin to show you different things different realms so yeah so that you can get acquainted with the supernatural the wilderness of the holy spirit is laid by the clouds and pillars of fire the wilderness is the way to the new wine skin the holy spirit is the new wine at the end of your wilderness so the wilderness is the new wine skin the holy spirit is the wine that you receive at the end of the wilderness diversities of the spirit but one spirit when god wants to move afresh in any dispensation he will send his spirit in the version of that move and then he will create a wilderness and then put the holy spirit at the end of the wilderness so anybody who qualifies to go through that wilderness will inherit the version of the holy spirit as god had put at the end of that wilderness so embrace the gift of wilderness Tell somebody, embrace the gift of the wilderness. Every move of God 
is wrapped up on a witherless. Praise the Lord. When God wants to give you a special anointing, he gives you an experience of witherless. Pastor John, I don't know why I'm dry. Because God wants to take you off from the comfort of your previous oil. He will move you out of your comfort zone. So that you can feel the void. You can feel the dryness of spirit and you start hungering. You start hungering. You start testing for something deeper. So sometimes God plants in your heart a hunger because he wants to fill you with a bone. It, it's just that it's, it is not that you are hungry or that you are a foodless no uh, mm -mm. it's just that he increased the size of your stomach so because you've been so comfortable with milk for too long but god said i think the milk has nourished you enough that the capacity of your stomach should be desiring meat so he will cause you not to be filled he will cause you to be hungry even after you've taken your milk. So he will migrate you from being filled with milk to thirsting and hungering for meat. So that dryness does not mean that the Holy Spirit has left you. It's just that God is calling you to a higher height to a greater height, to a greater experience. So don't give up. Dryness is the beginning of your weirdness. Pastor John, when I pray, I don't feel the Holy Ghost anymore because the Holy Ghost wants to move away from your feelings. So that you can know him outside your feelings. Oh, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is far more impressed when you know that he is your standby. Whether you feel him or not. Whether you think he is there or not. He, 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 by, by the time you say, oh, Holy Ghost, I know you're here, my friend. <laughs> Whether you feel it or not, you know he is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when God gives you the gift of a wilderness experience, just start rejoicing because God has called you to a greater glory. Yes, that's how we receive the new white skin. That's how we receive the new white skin. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's how we receive the new white skin. New York, USA. Are you ready? The demonstration of the Spirit and Power Conference with the Bond Servant of Christ, John. Dates 23rd through 25th, May 2024. Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. Venue, Joseph A. Floriano Rochester Convention Center, 123 East Main Street, New York, 14604. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. There is no cost charge to receive prayer or to consult the man of God. The conference is free. 
War against the Beast of Europe with the Bond Servant of Christ John. 11th and 12th July 2024. Day 1, 6 p.m. Day 2, morning session, 9 a.m. Strictly for ministers. Evening session, 6 p.m. Open for everyone. Venue, PWA Silverdome, Van der Hagenstraat, 2722, NT Zotermeer, Netherlands. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. The Tribe of Fire presents International Ministers Conference with the Bondservant of Christ John. Dates, 27th through to the 29th, August 2024. Session times, day one, 6 p.m. Day two, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Day three, morning session, 9 a.m. Evening session, 6 p.m. Register now for seat reservations. Visit our website, www.spiritrevelationchurch.org. Venue, 284, Four Trekker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. See you in the realms.